What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you my favorite settings to adjust on the Apple Watch. Now, some of these settings will actually allow the Apple Watch, like the watch face itself, to switch automatically depending on the location or the time, whatever preference you leave it on. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that as well as show you some new changes and stuff that got fine tweaked thanks to the latest firmware update of watchOS 7 and additional features that may become available in the near future, but you'll be prepared as soon as the update for unlock with a face mask becomes available where your Apple Watch will unlock your phone without you requiring to take off your mask or enter the pin code. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all that as well as some other cool ones like the hand washing detection and all that good stuff. So this is a perfect first time owner's video if you just got your hands on an Apple Watch or you're looking for a refresh or wanna see what's coming in the near future in terms of new additional features. This is the video for you. Let's go ahead and begin. So I'm going to start off with a setting that a lot of people always leave out, even myself included, is the ability to hide your notifications. Now the way this works, if you go into your settings and go into your notification tab and quickly just scroll down where you see notification privacy. When this is on, notifications detail will only appear when tap on the alert. So as a fine example, if I get a notification, it's just going to tell me the application or the person that sent it to me, but it's not going to show me the body subject unless I tap on it. I really do find this really useful, especially during those times where you're just having a conversation. You don't want to get easily distracted. This way, if it's something minor, it'll just be something minor. If it's something important, you could tap to see the rest of the detail instead of the application or the notification showing you everything right there on the wrist as soon as that notification comes in. And if we go back to that setting, if you don't like the red dot like being on top of your watch whenever you receive a notification, you could always turn that off by disabling notification indicator. And that's about it. Now, if you have either a Series 5 or a Series 6 with the LTPO, the always on display hardware, if you go into your settings and scroll down to display and brightness and where it says always on, tap on here. You could do a similar thing with those complications. Like right now I have it enabled. If you go ahead and enable this, and now when you cover up your risk, it's gonna hide any sensitive information complications like uh, messages, notifications, and such. So you could go ahead and disable that if you wanna hide it or not. Like if we go to this watch complication and we cover it up, it hides our activity ring and it will hide other stuff too. Now, a new setting that Apple reintegrated I guess you'll call it is the ability to change the grid view so right now I have it on grid which gives us this honeycomb pattern you can navigate through your apps like this uh, before you were able to force press to quickly switch from this to list view but now you have to manually go into the settings so in case you're unaware back in the setting tab if you go all the way back let's go all the way back and scroll down to where you see app view here is where you can switch between the grid or list view. Now the list view, everything is in alphabetical order, so you may find it easier to locate certain apps, but if you have everything organized right, grid view can also be your best friend. Because don't forget, you can always, you can always rearrange or delete certain applications. Now another application that received a similar change is the calculator app. Before the calculator application, if you press, long press, you're able to switch between percentage and regular calculator. Now you have to go in manually into the settings and scroll back and just scroll down until you see calculator. Here is where you have the options to choose between those two different calculator modes, percentage or uh, tip function. Now if you have a Series 4 or newer Apple Watch, uh, auto hand washing detection is a part of the firmware update for watchOS 7 and you could go ahead and enable this by going into the settings and just scroll down to where you see hand washing right here. Now next time when you're washing your hand, your watch will automatically be aware based off the sound and the movement that you're washing your hands and it will automatically start a 20 second timer. In addition to that, you also have chimes, which in case you're unaware what chimes does, let's go ahead and go into our settings and just click on clock. If you go down, here is where you can enable chimes and basically on every hour, the Apple Watch will give you a haptic tap if your watch is on mute or will play the sounds of bells like this one or birds. And you could preview it by taking out your watch off of mute. This way you could hear it and see if you like it or not. And now if we go and move up, you could actually offset the time on your watch separated from your iPhone. This way, let's say for example, you want to increase your Apple Watch time five minutes. This way you always arrive five minutes 
in advance you could easily do so and if you look back at your phone it has an adjusted time there so it's a great way to uh, be five minutes ahead or five minutes behind depending on your preference uh, a lot of people that use hand wrist watches like this this is a common thing that a lot I notice a lot of people would typically do primarily the business type Still in the clock tab, if you scroll down, there is a monogram. Here is where you can actually write down any text, and depending on the watch face, which I'll have a list right here, they will actually say the name that you've written down right there. So if there's like a nickname or a brand that you like to be displayed right here, that's how you can customize the monogram. Now, if you use your Apple Watch and you charge it next to your nightstand or on your nightstand, as you say, uh, there is a nightstand mode that you could go ahead and enable. If you go into general and then you scroll down to where it says nightstand mode, enable this, and now whenever you dock your Apple Watch, it's going to display the time as well as the percentage right here of the current rate of your battery. Now, still in the general tab in the settings, if you scroll down to where it says wake screen, here you can actually adjust the duration of your Apple Watch. So by default, it's set to 15 seconds, but if you want to increase it close to 70 seconds, Oh, well, 270 seconds, I should say. Just tap on here, and now whenever you wake up your watch, it's gonna stay on like this for 70 seconds. So if you want to increase the, dur the duration of the auto sleep, that's how you do so. And if we scroll down and go back here, hand off mode, I like having this enabled. What basically this allows you to do is, let's say, for example, you're on Messenger on your Apple Watch, iMessage, I should say, and you wanna quickly move from there to your phone by simply unlocking bringing up the app switcher you could tap right here and it'll quickly jump and take take you where you last left off on your apple watch now if we go back scroll back go back and go all the way down to the sos tab uh here's where you can actually enable default detection now if you're over the age of 50 this is enabled by default but if you're under the age you're gonna have to manually go in here and enable it yourself so basically, if you ever get knocked out, you fall, you had a hard impact fall and you're unresponsive, the Apple Watch will detect that impact fall and will get a hold of emergency dispatchers. So anybody a part of your emergency contact list will not only be notified, but emergency dispatchers will also be sent to your exact location in case you are unresponsive during a tragic event. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but better be safe than sorry. Now, if you want to change the the orientation of the Apple Watch from right to left, it's really easy to do so. In case you messed up during the first setup process, just need to go into general, go into orientation, and here's where you get those uh, different settings. Notice how you can also change the position of the digital crown if you want to flip the watch uh, upside down or so. The benefits of having a flip upside down watch like this on your wrist is that it will also protect the digital crown from taking a hard impact damage in case you actually slide or are known to be always bumping into walls with your Apple Watch. This way, it will add a little bit more protection. So this is now really just a personal preference. Before on the Series 3, I used to do this a lot. I used to have the digital crown on this angle because the microphone was facing this angle. But with the Series 6 or even the newer Series 4 Apple Watches and newer, uh, they no longer have this microphone problem, so there's no need to really do this to increase the audio quality when taking a phone call. Now, moving from the Apple Watch to the Apple Watch app on our iPhone, there's a couple settings I also recommend to check out here. One of which is my personal favorite, especially if you use Apple Pay. You know with Apple Pay, you have to enter this annoying PIN code. It's required in order for Apple Pay to work on the Apple Watch. Well, there's a way you could actually bypass this instead of having to hammer down the PIN code each and every time you put on your Apple Watch. If you go into the Apple Watch settings right here on the app, scroll down to where it says passcode, and go ahead and enable unlock with iPhone. Now, whenever you put on your Apple Watch and you unlock your iPhone first, your Apple Watch is gonna be automatically unlocked. So you don't have to hammer down the pin code anymore. Now this next one is the ability for the Apple Watch to unlock your iPhone while wearing a mask. Now this feature still is in the, it's in the developer beta, which is iOS 14.5. But as soon as this feature becomes available, to enable this, you simply just go into your settings on your main phone and go into your passcode and I face ID, I face ID and passcode, enter your passcode and just scroll down to where it says unlock with Apple Watch. Where you see this, make sure the Apple Watch is on its latest firmware update and then just go ahead and enable it 
based off the Apple Watch that you have currently on. So these underneath here, for example, they say update is required. So none of these Apple Watches have the beta update yet or the developer beta. So it just gives us this message. But since my Series 6 is on the, that developer beta, as soon as the firmware is officially released, you should be able to enable the whatever Apple Watch you want to enable this feature on. So now whenever you put on your face mask and you want to quickly unlock your iPhone, it's going to use your Apple Watch to unlock your phone. And if it unlocked prematurely, you always have the ability to quickly click lock as it will give you a haptic feedback right here on your wrist. So if somebody snatches your phone, if they manage to unlock your iPhone, you can always quickly just tap here to lock your phone right back up again. And it will also disable Face ID. This way they need the pin code. All right, now this next setting is back on the Apple Watch app. If you scroll down and go into maps, where it says turn alerts, you could disable these. I know a couple of people don't like the fact that uh, when using directions, the Apple Watch will give you a haptic tap every time when you're about to make a turn. If that becomes annoying, this is where you go to turn that off. So driving or driving with CarPlay, or you could select walking and cycle. Now, as for the ability to change the watch face depending on the day or the location you're at, it's really easy to do so. If you go into your shortcut apps, just go into shortcuts, go down into the automation tab and tap the little plus icon, create a personal automation. And you have a couple of little options. The ones I recommend fooling around with are the time of day. This is where you could create a fixed schedule. Fiddle with this. You could do it based on location where you arrive or leave certain locations or messages or workouts and stuff but my personal favorites are the time of day arrive or leave or wi-fi or when connected to a certain bluetooth device so we're just going to go ahead and use wi-fi for now uh use the network based off the previous history you have connected with so if i go to ihop as a fine example i'm going to go ahead and tap next and the action we wanted to do is type in watch and you can do additional stuff like pin my watch or iPhone, I should say, always stay on cinema mode. So like movie theater, you can select that for the location, silent mode if it's like a workplace. But we want to go ahead and set it as a watch face. And now there's a little blue face icon right here. Tap on here, select the watch face we want it to automatically switch to as soon as it connects to that Wi-Fi network. So we're just going to go ahead and select this and then show more. You could enable this or disable this, leave this on so it doesn't give you a notification. And you could preview this by tapping the little play icon uh, down below here. And now if you look closely, it just quickly just changed our watch face. So this is what it's going to do as soon as it connects to that network. Tap next and just press done and now you're set. So now whenever you go to iHop, I guess in our case, and we connected their Wi-Fi, our phone detects it and our Apple Watch detects it, it's automatically going to switch to this watch face. And once we leave and go to a different place, it's going to switch back to whatever watch face you want it. And those are some awesome settings to adjust on the Apple Watch. If you've got some useful information out of this video, make sure you leave this video a like. But not only that, also get subscribed because I pretty much cover a bunch of tech videos very similar to this. If you'd like to find out some cool accessories that you can get for your Apple Watch, feel free to go ahead and watch this video over here as I go through my favorite accessories that's currently available in the market. And then that video over here, that's just a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.